Marcus, uh, back in Fort Wayne again. Uh, we see you every winter. How, well, how important is it for you to come back and kind of give back to the community you grew up being a part of? I know, obviously, you were back in the summer for the futsal courts as well. Yeah, man, it's, it's, uh, it's great being back for one, first and foremost, you know. But uh, this, these are things that, you know, I didn't have when I was growing up, you know, and, and I love that the kids, you know, take advantage of, you know, the, the time that they, they can and, and play the game, you know, whether they're having fun, they're learning, you know, um, like I always say, I, I love that the kids play with a smile and they're having fun and enjoy themselves. And um, it's, it's so great to, to be to be back here, do something, you know, for, for Fort Wayne. And at the end of the day, my big goal is to, you know, help the sport grow, you know, even bigger in, in this area. For you, when you take a look at, you know, Sarah Killian and you take a look at Akil Watts, uh, now Amelia White, mm -hmm. younger players that have, have donned the USA jersey in one way, shape, or form, um, whenever we talk to them, they always give credit to you as the guy who kind of blazed the trail. When you take a look now that people have actually, you know, followed in your footsteps to a degree from Fort Wayne, what kind of pride does that give you and... Uh, how do you how do you reflect on something like that, knowing that all these players looked up to you and now they're they're taking the same path as you? Yeah, it's special, you know. Um, first, because that you know, obviously they're from my hometown. They're from Fort Wayne, you know, born and raised. Um, you know, we, we we definitely have, you know, you know, soccer in our blood here in Fort Wayne. You know, but to be honest, they're inspiration to me. You know, being able to see them, they keep me going. You know, like I said, I'm I'm winding down my career. You know, I'm 36. You know, uh, probably play one more season. You know, and I still look at them and they give me inspiration to play and they give me, you know, excitement and still want to compete and still want to, you know, uh, accomplish my goals that I still have, you know, that I set for myself. So it's not just them looking up to me. You know, I look at, I look up, you know, to them as well, you know. So I'm, I'm really excited for, for all three of their careers and I hope that they, you know, keep going and keep pushing and, and hopefully one day, you know, they can, you know, play in a World Cup. You mentioned you're 36, turned 37 here in May. Mm -hmm. um, that's a long career, yeah. <laughs> uh, especially in any type of professional sports, but especially in soccer. What has been the key to your longevity in this sport? Yeah, I mean, as you get older, you know, you you, you know what works for you. You know, you, have, you it's cliche, but you have to take care of your body. You know, you're not you're not uh, 18, 19, 20 years anymore. You know, years old anymore. So, uh, the things that I do outside of you know uh, the glamour and you know playing games and having fun and doing things I do on the field is off the field stuff. It's things that I do, you know, when my face is in the camera, you know, you know, what you put in your body, you know, eating right, in the gym, you know, doing different exercises, you know, so that always, you know, keeps me, you know, fit and, and ready to play, you know, still at a high level. So I, I definitely, you know, implement that more in the last, I would say, four to five years, you know, in my, in my routine to, to stay healthy. I believe you're technically a free agent after playing another year with Houston. Um, the, the season, if you return to Houston, will start a little earlier because you've got the CONCACAF Champions League and you'll be playing Guatemala, I think, mm -hmm. in February. So about a, about a month earlier. Yeah. Um, what, what goes into your decision? I mean, where are you in the process of your free agency and kind of what do you expect for this upcoming season? Uh, the season's final. Uh, I'm oh. going to play next season. Uh, it should be announced in the next couple of days. Um, yeah, I'm excited. You know, I'm excited. Uh, you know, winning the Open Cup last season, you know, for, for us as a club, you know, we're a smaller club in the spectrum of MLS. So, you know, for us as a club to win that was, was big, you know. And, you know, those kind of things, you know, gives me motivation to come back and keep competing and, and to play. You know, because at the end of the day, any athlete will tell you the, the most important thing is to win. You know, you, this is what, that's why you play the sport is you want to, at the end of a season, you want to hold up a trophy. And, you know, we did that as a, as a, as a group, you know, as a, as a club. And that gave me even more, you know, ammunition to, you know, to play another year. So, like I said, as long as I'm, you know, fit and I'm still having a good time, you know, it's not a job. Uh, enjoying what I'm doing, I'm going to play. So, um, yes, I am going to play one more season. Anything else you'd like to add? No, nah, just happy to be home. You know, um, I love being, you know, back and forth. Away. I wish there was snow. You know, I, I think <laughs> it's, it's disappointing. It's it disappointing. It's cold, but there's no snow. You know, it rained all day yesterday and no snow. But yeah, no, nah, just I love being home. I wish there was snow, but you know, happy holidays, everybody. Perfect, my man. Cool, man. So you don't know if it's gonna be.